Hey Google, talk to Pandemic Stats. All right, let's get the test version of Pandemic Stats. Get the latest COVID stats. How can I help you today? How many tests have been delivered in the United States? The USA have tested 985,099,239 in total. That's 2,945,866 tests per 1 million people. Hey, my name is Andre, and today I want to show you how to speak with Remix. I'm a developer and student from Germany, and I'm currently located in the Bay Area in California. I'm also an early supporter of Remix, and I absolutely love how it feels building web experiences with it. But I'm also very interested in the voice field. And today I want to show you how Remix might fit into that. Here you can see the Hello World Intent Handler of an Alexa application, also called Alexa Skill. Intent Handlers are similar to routes in a web app, but they only run on the server and usually in a Lambda function. The Intent Handler's handle function is responsible for returning the JSON back to the client. And that JSON includes the speak output that is used by the Alexa device. When I first started building voice applications for Google Assistant and Alexa, I realized there was no built-in way for composition. Coming from React, I was so used to using JSX and components to reuse parts of my code. And I was sad that I couldn't use that in my voice application. So there, there was no way for JSX. And I thought that would be cool to use JSX. So I did some digging. And I found this great talk by Sophie Albert on how to use React Reconciler to build a custom React renderer. So I did exactly that. I created a custom React renderer called React SSML DOM for SSML. And SSML is the markup language used for speak output. So now I was able to use React to render SSML, but I also ran into some issues. As I mentioned, voice apps are solely run on the server, so there's no hydration on the client. And I wasn't really sure how to fetch the data without using use effect. Should I, use it, uh, should I fetch the data outside my app and then inject it into my React application? Should I render several times on the server and set a timeout and then return after that timeout? Um, it felt chunky. I wasn't sure how to do it. Also, there were some other JSON attributes that I had to manipulate in my React app. Let's say we have an error component. And in that error component, I want to say whenever the error occurs, we also want to end the conversation. So how do I access the other attributes of the JSON payload that we sent to the client? I didn't find a really nice way to do that. So I set the project aside and went back to building web apps. And I started using Remix. Remix has a really great way of loading data on the server and then using it in your React application. And that's when I started thinking, how cool would it be to use Remix for voice app? And that's what I want to show you today, just the first steps I took to make Remix return SSML. So I just ran MPX create Remix to bootstrap a new Remix application. And I also added some quality of life changes just to make the refactoring a little bit easier. But now I want to show you how we can make this Remix app return SSML. First, we have to install the custom React renderer, React SSML DOM. Then we can go ahead and start the dev server. And as you can see, I already added a .hgp file so we can do some quick get requests against our server. So if I do a get request against our base URL, you can see that our Remix server is up and running and is currently returning HTML documents. But we want to change this now. For that, we go to the entry.server file. Here, Remix is using the React DOM package to render the Remix server React application to a string. So now we have to swap out React DOM with React SSML DOM. React SSML DOM also offers a render to string function, so we can just swap them out. You can also see that currently the content type is set to text slash HTML. So we have to update that as well. 
The valid content type for SSML documents is application slash SSML plus XML. Also, you can see that right now in our response, uh, we start our response with the HTML doc type. We have to replace this with the XML prologue. That's all the changes we need to do in our entry.server file. So let's go back to our .http file so we can make a quick test. And you can see that we are still returning HTML, but we are now using the custom React renderer for that. Um, there's also already an XML prologue and the content type has been updated successfully. So we're halfway there. Next, I wanna go quickly to the entry.client file. That's not really necessary, but I just want to make sure that we remove all the code here since we're never really going to use it. And we're going to not, never going to hydrate on the client, so we don't need an entry.client content. Next, I want to go to the root file. Here, we can remove a bunch of stuff. Since we won't have any live recordings or links, uh, live reloading, we don't need any of that. The only thing we need from Remix is the outlet. As you can see, I already added some declaration here. That's just so that um, TypeScript doesn't complain about its unknown JSX elements. Every SSML document starts with a speak node, similar to how every HTML document starts with an HTML node. So we go ahead and remove um, the HTML from our app component and replace this with the speak node. You can see I did the same already for the error boundary. And the speak node also comes with some XML properties that I'm just gonna copy paste in our app component. So now we have two entries in our application, the app component and the error boundary. And then our routes will be, add, uh, will be rendered in the outlet inside the app component. So let's go to our index route and see how that will look like. Right now our index route is just returning some basic HTML and we can delete all of that and replace it with just one sentence. All right, but I also wanna make this dynamic to demonstrate what I said earlier. It's really easy in Remix to load data on the server and then inject it into your React application. That was one of the issues I had in the past trying to make React work for voice applications. So let's export a loader function and make it just return some, some JSON data that potentially could come from a CMS or a database or from wherever. So let's say the framework is dynamic data. Then we can go ahead and use the hook from Remix, use loader data to get that data. And now we can make it dynamic in the JSX. Replace remix with remix with data dot framework. And oh, this is on the wrong spot. All right. Now our index row returns one sentence with some dynamic data from a loader. Um, and if we go back to our dot HTTP file and do one more request. We can see now that our Remix server renders SSML. Um, and I can illustrate that it actually works when we go to this web console here. Um, a speech synthesis uh, API is actually built in in every web browser. Um, so we can go ahead and, and try it out with it. So we paste our SSML document inside the speech synthesis utterance, which is our speak output. And then we can use the speech synthesizer that's attached to the window document to say it out loud. Speak output. All right, let's say it. Hello world, Remix for speech is awesome. Yay, so we just made Remix speak. 